I am the minimalist that thinks that you can have any sort of style and still be a minimalist. So whatever your style may be, you will find value in this channel. Like, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like. Hey, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like. Hey there, fashion friends. Welcome to today's episode. I'm very happy that you have joined me here today. So if you are new here on this channel, I speak to being all style inclusive and taking a minimalist approach to our fashion and style. Along with that, I like to share little tidbits on my own personal style, which is edgy, chic, minimalist. So if that sounds fun to you, make sure to click the subscribe button and click the little bell to get notified when I post new episodes. All right, before we go any further, let me just mention that today's video is sponsored by Samasura. So this brand was built by entrepreneurs who wanted to make affordable tailored clothing more accessible. This allows for their motto to shine, buy less, buy better, buy clothes that will last and fit you perfectly. But more on them later. Today, we are looking at 10 fall fashion trends that will work for those of you that take a minimalist approach to their life. I am somebody that loves fashion. I love style. I love trends. I get pulled in by trends all the time, but I just say I've changed my sort of perspective on trends. I think there are different approaches to trends. This is sort of speaking to a minimalist approach two trends. So we've got a lot to cover today. So I think let's just get started. Number one is sports lux. The sports lux trend has kind of taken off with the whole Adidas Gucci collaboration, combining that sportswear with luxury. And I'm loving it, you know, side stripes, you know, track pieces, and then combining that with more sophisticated lux sort of pieces. I love contrast. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know, this girl loves a good contrast. So this to me is like perfect contrast and a great way to take stuff that you probably already have in your closet and be able to then make this combination and completely transform your closet to a completely different style or a different realm. It's a great thing to be able to invest in either sophisticated or a more sporty type thing because both of those on their own are super timeless. So the trend being mainly the way it's being styled. It's not actually like a revolutionary, you know, different sort of design. It's just ultimately taking classic pieces that have been around for a long time and combining them and making something new. Once the trend sort of wears out that, you know, sort of contrast or that, that um, combination, you'll be left with timeless pieces. Number two is big coats. I always have loved big coats. I've never really been like a really tight fitting sort of form fitting type person um, with my coats. I think one, because of a functional aspect, I like to have room to move around. I like to be able to layer, layer it up underneath. And as well as that, I just, I love the way it looks. So enter Samasura, our sponsor for today's video. With Samasura, you can custom order anything from coats to shoes, therefore leaving a very wide range of options. So whether you want a beautiful tailored shirt customized perfectly to your size and every curve, or you want to create a chic oversized look that still drapes on you in an effortless way, Samasura can make it for you. Everything is made to exact requested specifications, even if that request is to go two inches bigger than your normal size. Along with that, they make it extremely easy to know how to measure yourself with their simple video guides and bing bang boom in two weeks you have these beautiful custom made pieces so if you would like to customize your own pieces make sure to click the link down below and check out samasura so speaking back to the trend of big coats i think with this you can kind of take it to whatever range you want. I'm not necessarily going to go runway style with a big, crazy, bold, oversized coat, but I will stick with the oversize and I think that is within the comfort zone of the trend. Number three, similar, dramatic oversized blazers. Because I do think it's a very obvious trend. Again, kind of like I said, there's a range, there's a spectrum. You don't have to go super dramatic if you don't want to. You can definitely work within kind of like the boundaries of oversized and more tailored fitting. Again, look at it as, you know, clothes are very changeable. They're customized. They can be customized. So just like when you buy secondhand, a lot of times you might have to tailor things or customize things. So there's nothing wrong with 
if you go, you know, dramatic, maybe then when that trend's kind of faded out and you're kind of over it and not into it anymore, bring it to a tailor and have it kind of scaled down a bit. Easy peasy. Number four is caramel shades. Caramel? Caramel? So this more sort of caramely, warm, kind of cognac brown, oh, love. Those tones are definitely on trend to me, are always on trend. I mean, you can't ever go wrong with this tonal story of caramels or cognacs or whatever. Like you just, it, it always works. So it's just an obvious one. Like if you like this color, invest in this color. Yeah, it's on the trends list this year, but it is always, always gonna work. It is a timeless color palette. Need not say anymore. Number five is Equestrian. Equestrian is definitely one that comes and goes on the trend list, I feel like. The Equestrian boots, the blazers, all that. So it's kind of funny because Equestrian to me is very, very much the opposite to a lot of what's happening with like the whole 90s vibe of like the oversized, dramatically big things. So it's sort of like it's counterpoint because Equestrian is definitely more form fitting, more tailored fitting, more sophisticated. And the great thing about Equestrian is it's timeless. But then when it kind of fades off that list, you can know and feel confident that you still look elegant and chic and elevated. I think with most things, especially like with Equestrian, it's just in the styling. So the pieces can always stay the same, but it's just, you know, your little styling tweaks. So it's more what you're bringing to it um, to kind of freshen it up, to make it more current, to make it more relevant. Number six is a floor length drama. Yes. Uh, I love this one because you know this gal loves a good duster cardigan and not just any duster cardigan, but a one that's like full, like just full length, just, you know, tickling the floor, basically. I think it brings a very edgy drama to a look. This is something that is timeless. Like I always think this sort of full length, sweeping the floor look is always gonna bring drama. It's always gonna bring relevance to a look. It's always gonna bring a bit of a shakeup because it is so dramatic. It is a little bit more extreme. And anytime you have that, you're always gonna be bringing style and elegance and elevation to a look. So yes, it is on the trend list. Great, you know, can check that off for the season, but it's something that won't ever really go out of style. And I don't think anything ever really goes out of style. I think that's the biggest thing to keep in mind. It's just how, it's just changing perspectives. So things can always be kind of changed up or refreshed to become more relevant for the times. It again comes down to you wear the clothes, the clothes do not wear you. Number seven is relaxed denim. Denim, you just, you can never go wrong. <laughs> like, just cause it's on trend does not need to be, does not mean that you need to then all of a sudden change out all of your tight fitting, form fitting jeans. I'd say if you do like relaxed, fit jeans, then yay, cool. Bonus, they're on trend. And it's fun because obviously then, if you are somebody like me who loves relaxed denim, I already have a bunch of relaxed denim. It's now fun to be able to see a lot of these different ways that it's being styled. So it's just, just a kind of bonus to that you will have some more inspiration for these jeans. It does not mean that you now need to get rid of all of your other jeans. It just means that yeah, your relaxed denim is kind of having its moment. And so you can then kind of elevate, you know, that for this trend period. Number eight is grunge. So this one's quite specific. I think we've talked pretty generalized trends at this point, but grunge is definitely a specific trend. And it's one that speaks to me because it is a 90s trend and I was definitely like coming of age or growing up in the 90s um, and was like all about you know, Nirvana, Kurt Cobain, whoo, Gavin Rosdale, like, yes, please. <laughs> but the great thing about grunge is it isn't even a trend anymore. It's, it's a style type. I wouldn't say that it's something that's coming in and out of fashion. It's always there. Like it's always relevant if you're being pulled in by it. It's one that you can definitely incorporate. Y you might already have pieces in your closet that m fit with it. And it's one that can always be reinvented. It can always, be pulled back. Um, so whether it's like, hey, you get this like really cool, distressed, oversized uh, plaid shirt, 
and you want to just fully go all out with your grunge look and you wear it with like a graphic t-shirt and some tattered jeans and some cool combat boots, cool, that's great. But maybe down the road, you'll, you'll kind of be, maybe you're like not as into that full on grunge look. That, you know, plaid shirt can then work as a contrast piece with maybe your more minimalist pieces or your more sophisticated pieces. So you can still have a lot of fun with those because again, it's just, it's a classic piece and a classic piece is something that is just the highest caliber or of the highest standard of its category. So I would say there are classic pieces within the grunge style that will work for you for years and years to come. Number nine is basics. Basics, I am happy for you. You are having your moment, finally. So Prada has actually made the white tank, you know, super luxe and fashionable. It was all over their runway. Uh, Prada just owned that white tank. So um, it's great. I think it's inspired people to realize that basics can be fashion, can be high fashion, and not just these boring basic flaw pieces. I love basics. That's I it's a big foundation of my wardrobe because I think they are just a great accent to outfits. They're a great blank canvas. They're a great way to balance out a look. So I just think they're a great tool for styling. Whatever it may be, bringing it in as sort of that contrast piece to balance out or to elevate a look is what we're, they're more speaking to for a trend. So what I like about this, about the idea about this, is that you can ultimately combine this with all these other trends. This is a great way to tone down the other trends or a great way to accent the other trends. And as well as that, if you're investing in these pieces, then they're going to be things that you can have for years and years to come because basics never go out of style. And number 10 is bold suiting. Bold printed matching suits or bold colored matching suits or oversized suits or suits with, you know, the floor length, sweeping the floor type pants. I never feel like suiting is, is not on the, the trend list. If you're somebody that is into bold suiting or is not somebody that's into suiting, you probably already have a suit or something that works with, with this trend. I love matching pants and a matching blazer, but I've just found something that kind of works within my comfort zone. I, you know, didn't go too over top with the bold print and I didn't go too over top with the color. And it's something that to me is timeless and will work over time. The more oversized dramatic fit, definitely I'm into right now and I love it. But again, what's great about suiting, it is, is some, it is something that is meant to be customized and tailored. So it is something that if over time you're over, that sort of oversized, dramatic, bold fit, you can definitely bring it into a tailor and have it customized to whatever preferences you want. And maybe down the road, you want to change it up again. So that's the great thing, especially if you're investing in one that is of good quality. Okay, so that is it. Those are my 10 favorite fall trends for a minimalist lifestyle. Definitely comment below let me know what you think. I wanna hear if you like these trends, if there's a trend that I missed that you think would work as well. Uh, let's definitely have those conversations. Okay, well, if you did enjoy today's episode, you know what to do. Give me that thumbs up, comment below, share with your friends, and subscribe for future weekly episodes and click the little bell to get notified when I post those new episodes. You make sure to stay healthy, stay safe, love and support each other, and we will definitely be chatting soon. Bye.